Hey guys, WJK here. Sorry for the pause. Um, something that we haven't done for a while. A video game video. Or should I say, game video. So let me explain for those who know the history and for those who don't. I haven't done many gaming videos lately due to situations that has occurred. But there's a, there's a big chance stuff coming back. So what we have here is I'm going to turn around and split this video up into two parts for a few reasons. One, it's easier to upload, obviously. Uh, two, this is a new beginning, so I'm going to explain what's going on. I'm going to explain it in two parts because there are two players in this game. So I shall explain this. This is a Tekkit server. And I apologize for standing here staring at everything. Tekkit server is private. Um, it's on my system. The second person, which is my wife, is not at the moment in the server. So I figured I'd give a little tour. Now I'll explain a couple things. Um, this is the first server I ever set up, so thanks to those who gave me hints and tips. Um, give you a basic idea of the server configuration first before we go on the tour. Uh, the server is on my system, the same system that I'm playing this on, the same system I'm recording this on, the same system that I also have everything else running at the same time. And so to give you an idea, my system has 8 gigs of memory, the server has 2 gigs set aside, my Minecraft has 2 gigs set aside. Uh, everything else takes care of everything else, you know. The R4 gigs split up between Windows, Fraps, whatever recording software I may be using, um, my tweet deck, my email client, my, you know, whatever. So, that's how I got set up, and I'm not doing bad because I'm, at the moment, I'm hitting above 30 frames, which is what I used to get on my old system playing single player. So, to give you an idea, that system was a 2.8 gigahertz single core. This is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz quad core. So, and what is that over there? <laughs> He's hiding from the rain. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you a tour of what my wife did, which she did pretty good. Um, she hasn't played Minecraft since beta 1.8. So that gives you an idea how long it's been. Uh, so she came in. There was a lot of things new for her. Not only the vanilla Minecraft, but the tech. It. So uh, a couple things with the server, though. Uh, essentials is installed. All the, in the essential pack. I have installed Tree Chopper. Tree Chop. 2.0 which works with multiplayer so we got essentially you know chop the tree it all falls down so show off what she started first off this explanation of this this is our little fishing deck so we can go fishing so she can get fish when we started out it was just a little bit of wheat one or two pumpkins one or two melons and as you can see you know the wheat here the pumpkin there melon there just put some reeds I see you sneaking up on me a cactus and all this wheat this is our personal consumption farm garden I guess you could say and another thing with this game I'd say 97% of it is legit um, 3% of it is not because I played with some nukes on the other side of the uh, volcano there and I'll explain all that later. But uh, here you have. Okay, that was a sheep. Here you have her mine. And I'll just go down it real quick. Oop, glitch. Lag spike, whatever you want to call it. Now, here she has a condenser, furnace, workbench. She got this here. Which I got this set up as you can see down here. There's a there's a motor, there's a pipe, 
takes it out to my uh, foundry, which I'll explain later in the second part of the video. Um, she goes down here and give you a quick peek. She's been mining all this by hand. Enderman. Let's go with Enderman while we're here. Ah, Ender Pearl. Oh, another Enderman. So she's been digging this out by hand and having fun doing it. Um, one of the things we did notice on the server, even before I put it on essentials, is that creepers don't do squat to us. I don't think. No. Which is nice. Nope, they don't. Now, she was digging out this way, and she's like, Whoa, there's a big gully out here. I go, yeah, that's where I placed eight nukes and set them off. Made a rather large crater. So th this is where she's been having fun. Um, it actually doubles as a mob spawner, as you saw. There's a lot, even though it's lit up, mobs will show up. Uh, like this skeleton. This is where they basically show up right here because it's a little darker. So we come down here and we get some experience and grind a little bit and whatnot. And I need to eat. Before I go upstairs and show everything else off. There we go. So, as we come back up here. So this is what she started out as, at, and she found a large vein of uh, marble, so she started doing marble walkways, the marble house, go in here real quick, um, she pretty much went on her own and experimented, so you got the first floor which was originally storage, but some of that's been split up now, uh, second floor here is kitchen, where she makes, you know, she's got melons, soup, cake, whatever. Um, third floor is the bedroom. Yeah. Now, like I said, she made all this legit, so. Give me those. No, put those bones back in there. Um, excuse me while I clean some of my inventory out here. Looks good. While we're here, let's put some chicken in the furnace. Get that done. Okay. Now, basement I will show off in my section because we both worked on that. But she got decorative, you know, lapis block and jack o' lantern. Now, in case you're wondering, texture pack because of it being tech it. Yes, it's not the default texture pack. This is actually the Sfax. Um, in my case, mine's the 128. Hers is the 64. But we got it to work. So here you can see that she has a skeleton in with her sheep. Okay, where? Oh, it's dark over here. Do I have any torches? Yeah, I do. Hello sheep, excuse me, we'll light that up a little bit so you don't get as many skeletons. But she created all this, this was actually smaller, she just recently expanded on it. We get sheep there, and if we go back over here, got sheep trying to escape, he'll glitch back in. Um, excuse me for a second. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Uh, over here we got cow pen. As you can see, she's got quite a few cows. Piggy in the wrong area. And before you say, oh, you're killing her pigs. No, we turn around if a pig glitches into... If one animal glitches into another animal's area, we turn around and take care of them. Um, she'll probably be coming in soon and um you just got over here too i just saw you 
coming in soon and redoing basically thinning out the herds and I forgot where the entrance was it's back here there it is and then over here we got the piglies the piggly wigglies quite a few in there and this is the wheat farm I made for her strictly for um, the uh, animals which I'm going to harvest here and explain a couple things while I do this real quick and then I'll go back later and replant everything um, so we get this up and running she's been loving this um, as some of you may know she had become ill earlier in the year um, she's a little spoiled right now because I have a little 23 inch monitor that I am playing well it's not little but it's the monitor I use for my main system I had bought her before her uh, illness a uh, Dell 17 inch um, notebook which she she loves she likes the Dells if you get the right Dell notebook it's good for gaming nothing major um, it's her notebook I've played uh, Command and Conquer 3 on uh, Minecraft uh, Binding of Isaac it's a little slow but that's because of how it's coded um, so it, it's it's a decent all-around notebook so we've turned around and basically hooked her little 17 inch notebook up to my 42 inch TV so she's got a 42 inch monitor which she can see now to play and I totally missed that other section and the rain stopped hopefully that rain wasn't too loud I'm still experimenting with levels on uh, the microphone due to a problem that I had earlier so it may be a little off my voice may be a little loud um, while I'm feeding this I'll explain what that problem was uh, I had posted in a vlog earlier in the month that my speakers that I've had for like 10 years turn around the, the headphone jack took a crap basically um, crapped out so I was looking for alternatives and I couldn't afford a new set of speakers so I hooked up my old AV receiver which I haven't used in like four years three years something like that um, it had a volume problem I had a problem with the volume knob um, seeing that her and I both went to electronic school I I'm gonna say this in quotes attempted to fix the volume problem which I did it's just the um, headphone jack don't work which is the same exact problem I had with my speakers so I got that all taken care of here we go I'll give you an idea I get take half of that this is what I get for 64 64 64 and 48 now you might ask why I split that up I'll show you here in a minute so with that happening as I got slightly sidetracked um, the yes I know you're all lovey-dovey there's a gate going in between isn't there yeah that the um, need to say everything was screwed up so I tried different experimentation on how to get um, all right cows get how to get audio levels rebalanced it was a pain so if the audio levels seem a little unbalanced I do apologize um, 
I know the webcam vlogs were correct, but um, I changed the setup since then um, because I found out that the get out of the way, pigs! That the uh, if you escape, I'm gonna kill you. You know that. That the um, what was I saying? Oh, the internal sound card, the uh, jack for my output in the back, the onboard audio, fried. So I got rather ingenious rigged setup. So we got audio again. It's just I can't hear. I used to be able to hear what I was saying to you guys through the headphones. The way it's set up right now, I can't. So... But anyway, this little pen was wolves as we get back to the little tour. Unfortunately, I did not know the wolves despawned randomly in multiplayer. Really sad. Then we have her chicken coop, which I don't know if I should feed them. Because um, there's two feeders. So we'll put 24 in there. Yes, yes, yes. You're all lovey-dovey. And I really wish she would have turned around and set that at a different place. So I could have done this without having to go in. <laughs> Chicken spawned inside thing died. Okay. So she's got her chicken pen. Which is ridiculous. I can't remember if there's a gate in here or not. I don't think there's one in here. Oh, let me... me oh, I'm going to start killing you. Haha. -ha. No Houdini chickens. Or spy chickens. Come on. Oh. First ocelot I've seen in here in a while. We had an ocelot overrunning problem. So we cut back to jungle because we're partially in jungle biome. Excuse me while I get rid of my eggs. She has some set aside, so I turn on put the eggs in here and create diamonds. Yay! So that's it for her tour, her section, her animals, and her target dummy, which. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I picked him up. Whew. There we go. He pops up every once in a while. Get the kitty. 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 We got enough kitties. We don't want any more kitties. Did I get him? Yep. So when we come back in the second part, we'll go from this point over. So this has been WLJK. I shall see you in part two.